Hello everyone, this is Multi24 Gaming and I am here with Tower 3D Pro. This is an aircraft control tower simulator and today we are going to be doing another little bit less chill, um, basically run as an aircraft control tower. Um, we are going to be directing um, traffic among, uh, throughout the airport and taking arrivals and departures. Um, and the thing unique about this time is we're going to be doing it with full traffic density um, at 12 o'clock, which should be the pretty much the most crazy time of the day, and with stormy forecast. And we will be doing it at our easiest airport for right now. Soon it's going to get a lot more crazy, I promise, but for right now we're still staying a little bit chill, and we're going to be... Um, we're going to be directing this wonderful airport here, and our tower will be here. We'll be looking around from this point of view, but we will see shortly. So we're loading in, and as you can Saint hear, Thomas it is tower. pouring. November 10056 requesting push and start. Okay, so here we have our November 10056, and we are going to tell them that they can take off from 28, since they're very close to that. November 10056, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Tailwind is too high, take off delayed November 10056. Alright, so November's saying that the tailwind is too high um, at runway 28. Um, so we're, yeah, we're gonna keep it on 10 then, and we're gonna tr see if November um, would like to take off from 10, if that's fine. We'll find out. November 10056, pushback approved, expect runway 10. Ground, 10 pushback approved. Alright, November wonderful. 10056. So November seems to be content with um, taking off. Um, of course the tailwind is apparently too high, um, coming f or taking off from runway 28, so let's figure this out here. If you're taking off from 28, the tailwind's coming this way, and plane St. Thomas headwind Brown. is better for November planes when taking off um, ready to taxi. because that means more air is going under the wings and more pressures being built up helping um, the plane lift uh, better if that's a valid explanation on your part um, all right we're gonna tell uh, our friend November to continue taxi November 10056 continue taxi Continue taxi November 10056. And we're going to test, um, I'm going to try something out while he's moving along. I'm going to see if I can get him to go uh, by uh, Bravo Charlie. So, November 10056, runway 10, taxi via Bravo Charlie. Runway 10, taxi via Bravo Charlie, November 10056. Good deal! We did it! Alright, I've always had a lot of trouble doing that. Um, and so, our dear November is going to um, start on his way, and he's going to cross at um, the Bravo Charlie intersection rather than at the Fox Trotter and Echo intersection. I'm getting these names down, guys, so everything's good. Now, we've got a lot of planes here, but none of them seem interested in leaving right now. Um, we can... let's see... We've got a, looks like a couple Denali's, um, it's a field there, I think, not sure. They call themselves Field Air, that airliner, it's really amusing because the developers of the game are, uh, Field Air, um, and so Field Air is the airliner and Field Air is the, uh, developer. Um, quite amusing. And so we've got our November, he's just all alone, going to take off. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed it up a little bit. We're going to speed it up to time 16 until we get another request. Oh, look at him go by. Oh, he stopped. November 10056, continue taxi. All right. Stop. All right, we're getting some requests here. And it's going to be a little difficult to hear the um, the airplanes. I'm still working on audio for uh, for this game, um, so you might have a hard time hearing them. And if you do, I apologize. I'll do the best I can to uh, fix that for the next video. So, uh, November one zero zero five six, continue taxi. So that's giving him permission to cross the runway. Um, so he's going to start moving there and cross the runway. 
and we are going to allow um, Magic 8161, push back approved, expect runway 10. One, zero. Ground, 10, one, push back approved. All right. Magic 8161. Magic 816, uh, blah, sorry, my bad. Magic 8101, push back approved, expect runway 10. One, of course, Ground. we're going to have them zero, all take off from the same approved. place. And we really only look like we have the prop planes taking off right now. I would call these, I think these are the Category 2 planes. I'm still not sure how to tell Magic from here. Ready to taxi. Magic 8161, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Magic 8161. Of course, Magic 8101 isn't necessarily ready yet, but as you can see, it look, doesn't Thomas look like they have Brown. much of a difference, Magic but they do. They've taxi. got a distance. Magic 8101, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Magic 8101. And now we've got a pretty cool line of planes making their way up to take off. Um, now the only thing that could put a wrench in our plans is, of course, some arrivals. Really don't know when or if that will happen, but we'll find out, I suppose. So we've got three planes all in a line going to take off. And I think we can probably follow some of them. Yep, here we go. So we can follow them on their trip. Um, I'm not sure if I can skip between them. Let's see, if I click on this and then I click this button, I think I can spectate them. But it, 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 these, uh, it is a little difficult for me um, to figure out these camera controls. Um, having a bit of a hard time. So. Everything seems to be going pretty well, though. We've got our planes moving up to take off. So I'm going to put the speed up to times four. To keep this interesting for you guys. You can see they're all making their way up. And now I can go around. All right, so um, I'm going to give uh, November permission for takeoff. November 10056, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Upon reaching 3,000 feet, contact departure. Let's see if we got Thomas that. Tower. Denali 1443 with you, runway 10. Okay, Denali wants to come land. He's still a ways out, so we're okay. I'm gonna give November another go. November 10056, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Upon reaching 3,000, contact departure. Runway 10 cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 6 November 10056. Okay, so I did the best I could there. Um, he's going to contact departure as soon as he reaches 6 feet in the air, so that's a bit unique, um, but whatever. So, let's see. We're going to try to get all three of these planes, maybe just two of them actually, off the ground before uh, before we have Denali show up or land. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, though. I know they have to have a certain distance between them. Um, I would say these are Category 2 planes. I really don't know, though. I can't really tell from this yet. Maybe it's one of these numbers, but to be honest, I... I have no idea yet. Category 2 planes I know have to have a certain distance. Um, first of all, they have to be past the runway, I think, and above 3,000 feet. Um, and so I can probably tell. That's why I tried telling it 3,000 feet. Um, tried telling it, you know, contact departure at 3,000 feet, so I know. But what we're going to do is we're going to give the next one clearance for takeoff once he's passed, uh, once he's taken off and uh, pass the uh, first thing. He's yet to contact departure. Oh, nope, there he does. <laughs> Maybe registered 60 or something. Alright, goodbye bud. Sorry I didn't... Yeah, I didn't focus too well on that. We're gonna wait and let the turbulence let up a little bit. Got our Denali coming in hot. We're gonna get this guy off the ground and then we're gonna give Denali permission to land, I think, depending on how fast this goes. And I really do need to figure out what these, these, uh, how far these represent. 
Oh, hello. Alright, so, we're gonna give Magic 8101 permission to take off. Magic 8101, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Upon reaching 3000, altitude 3000, 3, contact departure. I think that just went over his head. Let's try this one more time. Magic 8101, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 3000, contact departure. There we go. Runway 10 cleared there for takeoff. It. Upon reaching altitude 3000, contact departure. Magic 8101. Awesome. All right. Magic 8101 is getting ready to take off. Good deal. He's starting up. And we're going to have Magic 8161 wait behind next landing aircraft, which will be our Denali. He's probably like a little tiny prop plane. Honestly, we have no way of knowing right now. Maybe one of these numbers tells us, but I still don't know. Doesn't look like he's contacted departure. November 10056, contact departure. Roger. Good day. Alright, whatever. Good day. Alright, buddy, get your butt off the ground. We got a Denali coming in hot. Come on! Take off! Let's see. Yay! Alright, we're gonna follow him. This is, uh, magic. Blue airliner. It looks like he's going so slow. Come on, go faster, buddy. <laughs> he's blowing so much. I turned on my bloom on my graphic settings. I actually like it a lot more. It, like, the graphics aren't too wonderful, so it sort of hides that. Alright, now we're going to go back to our tower. Magic 8161, line up and wait behind next landing... Uh, no, don't follow any of that, actually. Whoa. Negative. Magic 8161. Oh, duh, I have to say the runway. I apologize. Magic 8161, runway 10, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. Runway 10, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. Alright, we're going to give Denali Magic permission real quick. Denali 1443, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, cleared to land, Denali 1443. Alright, Denali 1443 has permission to land, and he is coming in hot, actually. Yeah, that was cutting it a bit close. I'm not sure if I get... Magic is going to contact departure around 3,000 feet, and we are actually going to be able to see where 3,000 feet is. So that's helpful, too. Because that's pretty much the distance a plane needs to be before another one can, I think, uh, take off, uh, if it's a Category 2 or whatever. Oh! I see some lights. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, if we're allowed to hop over to where he is to view his landing. Not yet. Good deal. And to be honest, I have no control over the pilots, so hopefully they land, you know, properly and don't die. You know, that that's always, you know, would be a good, uh, good idea. Alright, Denali 1443 has landed. Good deal. Now I'm gonna hit shift. Very nice airplane. He's going a little hot to, t to turn off there. He's gonna have to turn off at Echo. Or maybe he's taxiing up here. We don't know. Denali 1443, taxi to terminal. Taxi to Ooh, terminal. There Denali we go. Good deal. He's going to turn off right there. All right. Now we're going to get our Magic 8161 off the ground. Oh, no. I missed it. I missed where uh, departure was contacted. But I'll be able to check the video later. I'll be able to tell. There's our Denali. We'll sure if we can oh magic's all right good good deal magic's already gotten himself all set up magic 8161 uh runway 10 sorry i screwed that up don't follow that please all right magic 8161 runway 10 cleared for takeoff runway 10 cleared for takeoff magic 8161 all right the voice was literally drowned by the sound. Like I said, I'm going to have to adjust the audio a bit for you guys. I apologize for that. 
this video is just going to have to deal with it. I can hear it a little bit, but um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to lower the environment sounds because the voice sounds are already maxed out. And then I'm going to have to change the OBS settings um, to capture properly. Oh, and then it decides when when it's about time. Okay. Goodbye, bud. I forgot to tell you to contact departure at 3,000 feet, but, you know, that's just something that I'm going to always do. Alright, so, Denali, how are you doing? You're looking good. And Mag Magic 8161, contact departure. You know what, I'm just going to get him off out of my hair right now. Um, Denali's making his way over. Let's see, he's going to... Got a good view of him right now, actually. And he's going to taxi right over here. Good deal. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to, first of all, check OBS to see how long I've been recording. I think I'll make this about a 20-minute video, so we've got about four minutes. Let's see if we can get some couple more interesting things to occur. We're going to get him nice and in there. We're going to wait some time for something interesting to happen. And then we will finish up the video. So we, as you can see, we've got our uh, different planes flying back in the opposite direction. It would have been probably more helpful for us to have uh, to let them take off the other way, but unfortunately, the weather didn't really uh, permit. Here comes the little truck. It's coming over, Ooh. and we have three departures. Goodness gracious, those all happened at the same time. Denali 864 requesting push and start. St. Thomas Tower, Field Air 1628 requesting push and start. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to keep these planes close together, so we're going to go from the back to the front. So, oh uh, man, I'm not sure which one's which. Okay, so this one's uh, Denali. Alright, uh, Denali 864, pushback approved, expect runway 10. Ah, uh, sorry. Ground. Eight pushback approved. Oh, Denali eight six four. I guess the headwind's fine. Saint Thomas Tower. I screwed up Field though. Here two zero eight with you runway one zero. Oh no, we've got an arrival too. We want him taking off from runway ten. So Denali eight six four pushback approved. Expect runway one zero. Ground one zero pushback approved. Denali eight six four. I think Denali's Saint gonna Thomas ground go take Denali off from twenty eight no matter what. Taxi. Field there, 1608, pushback approved, expect runway 10. Ground, 10, pushback approved. Field okay. there, 1608. Field there, 1628, pushback approved, expect runway 10. Ground, 10, pushback approved. Okay. Field there, 1628. What? They're all little mini planes. What the heck? Oh, they're probably all going to the same place. They're all little tiny planes. What the heck? Okay, I guess we're going to finish off this video with letting a bunch of tiny planes go away. St. Thomas Brown. What the heck? Air 1608 ready to taxi. Oh, uh, okay. They're, they're getting ready to taxi now. Denali 86... Uh, sorry. Denali 864 push... Uh, ugh, I'm getting all mixed up. Denali 864 continue taxi. Say again. Denali 864 runway... One zero. St. Thomas Ground. Hi. Field here one six two eight ready to taxi. All right. Denali eight six four continue taxi. Runway one zero Denali eight six four. Say again. Denali eight six four continue taxi. Continue taxi Denali eight six four. Field there one six zero eight continue taxi. Continue taxi field there one six zero eight. Field there, 1628. Continue taxi. Continue taxi field here, 1628. Okay. Now we're going to try to get, uh, we're going to get field there, 1628 to hold up at, at Charlie. Field there, 1628. Hold at Charlie? Taxiway Charlie? Hold short of Taxiway Charlie. Now, field there, 1628. Hold short of Taxiway Charlie. Hold short of taxiway Charlie Field here 1628. Good deal. And our arrival we'll have to deal with as well. And then after that, I usually, I'm not sure how to like finalize 
airplane. So usually any airplanes after these ones that show up, I just um, I just delete uh, so we can end up the uh, end the game nice and clean. So this guy should hold up at Charlie. Um, good deal. He is. Let this guy turn, and then they're all gonna go up and take off in order. All these little planes. Obviously, they're going together, so it'd be kind of funny to let one of the planes go all the way down there and take off from that side. Still quite a bit of a, a journey up, though, that's for sure. St. Getting Thomas another, Value 787 with you, runway one zero. another request for landing. Like I said, we're going to try to end the video now. Um, oh, I apologize. Feel there, 1628, continue taxi. Continue taxi, feel here, 1628. Doesn't really matter either way, he's going to be waiting to take off. I'm going to give the first one permission to take off. Feel there, 1608, runway 10, clear for takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 3000, contact departure. Runway 10 cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 3000, contact departure. Oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting good at this, guys. Good deal. All right, and uh, we are just gonna speed up time and get these guys off the ground. So, 16, boom, there goes our first guy. All right, Denali, oops, now I got, yeah, okay. Denali 864, runway 10, third to take off. Upon reaching altitude 3000, contact departure. Runway 10 cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 3000, contact Denali All right, 864. there goes him. Feel there, 1628, runway 10, cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 3000, contact departure. Oh, Saint yes. Tower, Leslie 571, runway 10. Goodbye. Runway 10, cleared for takeoff upon Whoa, reaching there went altitude another plane. 3000, contact departure, field here, 1628. And around, we're getting a lot of planes complaining Saint because Thomas I'm not letting them land Denali because we're ending the video. <laughs> Anyway, St. Thomas Tower. Everybody, shut up! I want to end the video. All right. So, anyway, all the planes have successfully taken off that we have actually tried to take off in this wonderful thunderstorm. Um, quite enjoyable. We got a lot of prop planes off the ground, a lot of uh, little tiny planes off the ground, as well as one big giant airliner, um, dual-engined jets. Um, I think it was the. Uh, I think it was um, uh, Denali. It was a Denali that we had land. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this wonderful game. I have actually absolutely enjoyed. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and definitely check out. I have an affiliation link of this game in the description and in the comments. You will be able to, if you want to, buy the game through that link, and it helps me out. Um, and so, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.